What's good people and welcome back to Quacks TV. Today is the day. It's finale day. You see me in my FIFA finales and the draft finale. I performed. I show up. But now it might be my hardest one yet. Delete 4. Nuzlocke. My team looks good. But it's also one where if I lose any key players here. If anyone kind of goes missing in the key moments. It's over. Sparky is going to be absolutely key. He needs to be protected until the very end. But first, we've got a bit of a challenge, don't we? Wally's waiting for us. I thought we were free of him. But nah, has to sneak up on us. Sprints us down. Rugby tackles us. Pushes our face into the dirt and says, We're fighting. I'm a pacifist, but you know, if you're going to rub dirt in my face, I guess i got to do what i got to do. So Artaria... Look at the level difference, it's not going to be close, is it? Quick little Thunderbolt. Altaria, he ain't going to be able to handle it. If the bird type gym leaders one can handle it, and we get the Paralyze. Oh dear. And he wastes the Dragon Dance. I did over 50, so we already know he's dead next turn. The Speed Boost, irrelevant because of the Paralysis. Got a bit lucky, to be fair. But you make your own luck, really, don't you, boys? So what can you say? Anyway, next up. As you can see, I have been grinding a little bit. We've got our team up to level 50. We're going to be grinding a fair amount more, I'd say, before the Elite Four, just because, first of all, we need to get a Dragonite and a Tyranitar. And secondly, I don't have time to grind up a whole other team if this team fails. I don't know why you think Delcat is a good choice, but, yep, yeah, they get Thunderbolt as well. Then he sends out a Magneton, rather. And I'd like to have switched out, but obviously I'm an idiot and forgot that they have Magnapool. Should probably have known that considering I literally have a Magneton. But anyway, luckily for us, our, our Sparky is a strong little lad. Another Thunderbolt does a massive amount of damage. What are you going to do with my defense lower, mate? You're going to tackle me with your steel Pokemon. What's the point in Screech? Just die. There's another one done. Wally. I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. What is the point of him as a trainer? He uses Screech, and then all his Pokemon are special attackers. Even I'm not that stupid. Anyway, Roselia comes out, and I can switch this time. So Big Kano, Big Kane, he comes out. You can Leech Seed us all you want, love, but you know what's coming next. The Flamethrower's coming. Doesn't matter how much damage you take here, because you're dead next turn. Flamethrower comes out. Roselia, bye bye She's dead. One more Pokemon. You continue to wonder why Wally would use a move like Screech after his only physical attack of potential in Altaria died. Don't know if Delcat is. Don't think Delcat is a good Pokemon, to be honest. Out comes Gardevoir, not Gallade. It's always weird with Gardevoir and Alakazam because I know they're good Pokemon, but they just seem so weak defensively. They just seem to get clotted. I know I got a crit. But they just seem to get bopped so quickly whenever I face them. Don't know what it is. Anyway, that's Wally done for now, for good, for bye-bye. He says he'll beat me one of these days, but let's be real. I ain't coming back. And then the victory road basically, oh, it must be free. Nope, not free trainers. Oh, what about this time? Surely I'm free this time. There's nothing left, yeah? This is the end of it. I must be. Nope, more trainers. Yeah, they beat us down. We survived it all, thankfully. Just. Mostly because I picked up about 50 escape groups on my journey so far, so they came in handy. And plus, I can speed up the game because my dad works for Nintendo and got me a Super Special Emulator, so they came in very handy later on down the line. But as you can see, we finally reached Evergrande City. We're there. End of the journey. Time to fight the Elite Four. Actually, I've got to heal up first. T then it's time to fight the Elite Four. Surely. I was sure someone stopped me here, but I feel like that might be Diamond and Pearl where the other blonde kid attacks me. And I'm just making a mistake. But, you know, no, we're not fighting them yet. Don't you worry. I'm not an idiot. We've got a few more things to do yet before we fight them, boys. First of all, go to this big man and get Brick Break because we've got literally no good fighting moves so far. And Rock Smash just is not going to cut it. Then, I mean, what better way to spend my money than gambling? You know, gambling's always the best way to spend all of your money, kids. And finally, 
the moment we've literally all been waiting for. Hopes and dreams finally levels up, and I looked at his learn set and realized he can't learn outrage. I promptly realized he's basically going to be useless for the whole of the Elite Four and cried myself to sleep. But someone who will not be useless. Yes, learn wing attack, we don't care. Someone who is going to absolutely destroy multiple teams in the Elite Four is this man. We call him Saviour. You might know him as Tyranitar. All I know him as is the one-shot king. He's going to be absolutely battering everyone. Ice type, dead. Dragon type, you'll probably be okay. Dark type, dead. Ghost type, dead. You're getting bitten. I don't know how this man bites a ghost, but are you going to question his ways when he's looking at you like that? Anyway, it is time. It is finally time for the Elite Four to begin. You've seen we've leveled up our team to 55. Gave for Alligator Ice Beam. Gave Charizard the K or Kane Brick Break, you know. Mostly for this fight alone. But to be honest, I don't think he's going to need it because... A, a same type of attack bonus got there in the end. You can tell I'm not an expert on this. A Stab Flamethrower is going to destroy most Pokemon that are nearly 10 levels below him. This one literally is 10 levels below him. They intimidate us. Pretty pointless because we're not going for any physical moves yet. Mighty Anna. Bye bye. Who's next? Come on. Who you got next, bitch? Show them up. Absol. Same story, really. Take the flamethrower. Get burnt. Your ashes now. You're welcome, Sydney. We just cremated your Pokemon for you and saved you a lot of funeral expenses. Wait, he survived? Oh, good Jesus. That could have gone so, so wrong for me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we flame for her again because we know they're going to heal. Didn't just completely lose my composure at all. Anyway, as you see, the flame for her comes out and this time it does do what I hoped it would do. It didn't get the, min the minimum damage. And who's next? Crawdun. At least I know it's something I can switch out of. Out goes Crawdun. In comes Big Sparky. In comes Big Sparky. Quackers, come on, get off the program. We need to be in sync here, lad. Tanks the surf. Throws the Thunderbolt. Boys, am I hearing it right? You want some Kentucky Fried Crab? Well, it's on the menu, lads. New stock. Fresh in. Don't know what this guy would be food-wise. I probably shouldn't have risked this, but... I risked switching back into Kane because I didn't think Shrift had anything that could do that much damage to him. I got lucky and he double teamed and he frankly got clotted and died. Forest fires aren't cool children. I do not promote them unless they're Shift Trees or Cacturns, in which case burn them the hell down. Quackers is setting a good example for children. It's a good thing I don't teach. Oh yeah, I do teach people. I don't know how I haven't been fired yet. Anyway, on to the next one. And this time, it's what I said before. Out comes big old saviour. We've given him a beautiful little choice band, I think. I know I definitely did for the next fight. I think he has it on this fight. But if I'm wrong, you can all slap me when you meet me in real life. You don't know what I look like, so that's perfect. Anyway, we crunch ghosts because apparently crunching ghosts is like the way to go. Apparently you can bite down on ghosts. Not quite sure how, but you know, if it works, it works. So we're just going to keep on crunching, keep on biting. Savior's hungry, at least it saves him trying to eat me. I didn't have choice band on this fight, as you can see, but I definitely did for the next fight. Oh, darn, I lost. What a shock. Everyone loses to me. At this point, boys, I'm feeling myself. I'm like, yes, yes, this is too easy. I probably leveled up too much, to be honest. But I didn't think 55 would be that bad. And I absolutely wanted Tyranitar and Dragonite or it would be an absolute anti-climax. Anyway, here's the choice band. Out it comes. You know what's going to come next. It's choice band rock slide against ice types. It's just a wrap. I said it's just a wrap. Thank you. God. He's such a little rap skelly in this lad. Anyway, more rock slides, more death, more destruction. Another one bites the dust. As you can see, I've sped this up a bit because if I had 
five full fights, six full fights if you include Wally, it would be a long video. And I've got ADD. Well, at least I'm pretty sure I do. So I wouldn't want to watch a full video of fight of my awful, awful voice and terrible commentary. Just commentating over five battles. He's going to fluke six battles. God damn it, Quackers. Six battles. He's going to fluke his way through. So, you know, I thought I'd be nice. We can skip through a bit. I used to be wanted a Kingdra because I was hoping to get a freeze to be honest. I could switch out anyway. We get a Thunderbolt. Free death. Get that Bagnaton out of there immediately. That is the one point where I could have lost this entire run. I didn't know that Salamance had Flamethrower. I'm not even joking. I've played Emerald Elite Four hundreds of times. I did not know that thing had Flamethrower. That was the luckiest switch I've ever done. And I'm not joking. It's literally the luckiest thing I've ever done in any Pokemon game. And I won for Warbuff. I luckily picked up a Warbuffet to save me in the second gym. Anyway, it is time. We beat Sydney. We beat beat that ghost type one whose name I don't remember. We beat the old woman. We beat the guy who unbuttoned his shirt and told and was weirdly flirting with me. Time for the other weird person. And this is why we needed to save Sparky. Because my god, he's here to sparkle. Yeah, I'm going to kill myself after that one. Anyway, as you can see, luckiest crit ever to be honest. Because this fight could have been so over without him. Anyway, we spam some Giga Drains, just seeing what we can do, and we get frozen. Get him out of there. Get Sparky back in. We get the lucky recover. Out comes Thunderbolt some more. Sparky's got this fight wrapped up now. One more Pokemon, two more Pokemon left. I am definitely not editing that out. Tentacruel. I want to say bye bye, but you keep ruining it for me, you prick. Yeah, I'm the luckiest person ever. I don't. I did not deserve to win this fight. I'm. I'm not joking. I didn't deserve to win this fight at all. I just kept Sparky out at this point because if he dies, he dies. But as I said, I'm the luckiest person ever, and we got another critical hit. Genuinely, at this point, lads, I'm going to play the lottery. I should have lost everything here. If Sparky dies at any point in this fight. I'm pretty much done because they can just surf most of my team. Freligator might, and I say might be able to take out the Ludicolo, but Charizard, Dragonite, and Tyranitar just get absolutely destroyed by him. I'm so, so lucky I got that crit because otherwise it's over for me. But anyway, May, desperate to steal my glory. You know, the second she has to get rich and famous, she wants in. The little gold digging minx, but you know, I sh I'm, I'm a 10 year old, so I'm not going to comment on other 10 year olds. Her dad comes and promptly cock blocks because, you know, it's what all good dads do, apparently. But boys and girls, as you can see, Nuzlocke successfully completed. I'm absolutely not going to play Steven yet. I might come back to this in the future. I'll keep my save file. I just don't have the time to be getting 15 plus levels. And plus, I'd probably end up fluking and losing all of my Pokemon in Elite Four if I tried. So, for now, this is going to be it. There's a few more cutscenes left. But, if you have watched this all the way through, if you bared with my terrible commentary, my constant mistakes, my awful voice for all of these episodes, you're an absolute legend. I can't exaggerate enough. I can't say it enough. You're an absolute hero. Because let's be honest, this has not been the smoothest ride ever. I've made a lot of dumb thing, dumb mistakes. I've said a lot of dumb things. But we got there in the end. Boys and girls, this is the finale, as you can see. I literally managed to finish Pokemon Emerald with one Pokemon that was in the Pokedex, I believe. And that... That will be it. If you liked it, please leave a like because I'm a poor little YouTuber who's desperate for any sort of positive attention I can get. As you can see, as I just said, I'm very famous now. So, you know, if you can't like that, you, you don't like anything. I don't want to give a definite date yet because I'm still deciding between two games. 
but there will be a new Pokemon series. I'm going to say before the end of the week. I've got a very big dentist operation on Thursday, so I can't say for sure if there might be a small break. But anyway, quickly back into character. Our dad, no, we're now rich and famous, obviously shows up, obviously says, oh, can I have some of that? Oh, you're going to give me a ticket now, dad. You didn't give me anything beforehand, did you? I need to get over these five problems. But anyway, yeah, I'm currently deciding between two things. I'm not going to spoil anything. If you are interested in keeping up with what might be next, because I might put a sneak peek, make sure to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. My tweets are usually football related and completely unfunny, but you know, there's the odd banger in there. Anyway, we get to pick a Pokemon color that we're never going to use because fun. And we get trapped outside of our house to get given another job by another old person i'm the best trainer in the entire region well i'm not because i'm scared of steven but anyway oh i need to see what the Me metang was there you go there's a reason to follow me on twitter i'm going to upload a video of whatever the metang was onto twitter so you lot can see there you go quack is the advertising genius there's a reason i got a media rate level Anyway, boys and girls, the video is about to come to an end. The series is about to come to an end. As I said, you are all absolute heroes. Scott is a prick. He can go away. Hang up on him. You lot, on the other hand, I've got your back since day one. If you are part of the Quackers crew, subscribe and list. We will have your back. We are family. Quackers out. Hope you have a good one. Hope you enjoyed.